This video is about how to calculate modified internal rate of return or MIRR using a Texas BA2 Plus financial calculator. MIRR is the discount rate at which the present value of a project's cost is equal to the present value of its terminal value. Terminal value is defined as the sum of future values of all cash flows. Now, why MIRR? Some projects may have non-normal cash flows and thus may have multiple IRRs. In such situation, project selection might be erroneous or misleading. In order to avoid multiple IRR problem, it is always better to use MIRR technique while accepting or rejecting a project. Here is an example. Your division is considering two projects with the following cash flows in millions. If WACC is about 10%, what are the projects MIRR and which project will you accept? I will show the calculation for project A and you can try project B on your own. Although you can solve some part of this problem manually, I'm going to show the entire MIRR calculation using Texas BA2 Plus financial calculator. In doing so, I will segregate negative cash flows or cash outflows into one group and positive cash flows or cash inflows into another. I will do all these in three steps. Step 1. Draw the timeline and calculate NPV of all negative cash flows. Please note that if you have only one negative cash flow as initial outlay, you can skip this step. I will first clear the calculator memory by pressing CF and then press second and CE. Now press CF and write 25 negative and then press enter. Notice that your calculator screen also says enter. Press 0 for cash flow 1, press enter. Press down arrow twice until you see cash flow 2, press negative 10 and press enter. When you are done entering all the negative cash flows, press NPV button. It is asking for I. Enter 10 as I. Now press down arrow once. When you see NPV, press compute or CPT. So negative 33.26 is the present value of all negative cash flows. Save this number by pressing STO or store and 1. Now step 2. Draw the timeline and calculate NPV of all positive cash flows. Please note that if you had a Texas BA2 Plus professional calculator, you could have done this step a lot easily. But we will now calculate present value first and then calculate future value. Again, I will clear the memory by pressing CF and then press second and then CE. Now press CF and enter 0 as cash flow 1. Press down arrow and enter 5 as cash flow 1. Press down arrow twice. Enter 0 as cash flow 2. Similarly, enter 17 as cash flow 3 and 20 as cash flow 4. When you are done entering all the positive cash flows, press NPV button. It is asking for I. Enter 10 as I. Now press down arrow once. When you see NPV, press Compute or CPT. So you get present value of future cash flows as 30.98. Save this number by pressing STO and 2. Now calculate future value of this number. Enter 4 in N by pressing 4 and then press N. Press RCL and 2 to get back the previously saved number. And press negative and then press PV. Enter I over Y equals 10. Enter payment equals 0. Now press compute and FV. Store 45.355 by pressing store and 3. We are almost done. The timeline will look like this now. Enter N equals 4. Press RCL and 1 and then press PV. Set PMT equals 0. 
press recall N3 and then press FV. Now press CPT and I over Y. So the MIRR is 8.06%. Now if you follow the same steps, you will get the MIRR for project B as 6.55. Decision rules. If project A and B are independent, select project that has IRR greater than WSCC. So neither of the projects should be accepted. If you have a Texas BA2 Plus professional version of the calculator, you can do all this calculation a little bit easier way. To learn how to calculate MIRR using professional version of the calculator, you may consider watching the next video. The link of the video is also given in the description below. I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.